Welcome back, you lovely bunch. Thanks for tuning in again. I hope you're all doing good. Right, quick munchkin cam. What's up? Right, as you can see, I do have my bike up on the sofa and, and I don't care if it's gonna get it dirty because it's beautiful and I want you guys to see it. Look, oh, this is what we're riding today. So we were talking about ultra distance in the last video. I would like to start doing some proper long rides and it's something that I've always wanted to do, but I suck at it. I suck at pacing, I suck at fueling. I basically suck at every element of an ultra distance. Like my brain wants me just to go out and smash a ride, which is not what you should be doing on an ultra distance. So I've asked you guys how many miles I should ride, what kind of length ride I should be doing, and I'm sure you guys have given me some great answers. I'm filming this before that video has gone live, so I've got no idea what you're gonna say. So today I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna try and practice my fueling, my pacing, and learn how to ride a little bit slower to eat constantly and I'm going to try and learn how to become a better endurance cyclist and as always all tips are greatly appreciated right I need to get changed and let's go out and start this ride Kind of my first proper check-in. I've been out to Brixham and back. I've messed up my ride already. I accidentally stopped it. But about two and a half hours in, 50K. Whew, I'm actually feeling really good. For once, I actually managed to pace myself. Not going too hard, just chilling and quite enjoying it. I think the plan now is to meander over kind of Dartmoor way. Might do the cycle path a little bit flat, but just fitting the hours. Do you know what? I've got no idea how far I'm riding today or how long. It has been an absolute pleasure riding around in this weather today. It's gorgeous. I've got a delivery coming later on, so I actually have to be home for that. So I have to remember not to enjoy this ride too much and stay out too long. I'm getting really hungry. This is the thing I really struggle with with long rides, the whole eating thing. Like, I have a really weird relationship with food. I'm a fussy eater when I'm not riding. And I'd actually have thought that riding, I just eat anything, but as it turns out, well, I'll get really fussy when I'm on the bike. I've got a couple of the Sturka gels. I've got like the carb drink in my bottle, but I definitely need to eat some food as well. I feel like I'm doing all right, considering I'm two and a half hours in. Like I burnt like one and a half thousand calories, so I could definitely do eating some more. Oh, I'm gonna have a bit of a flat roll and then probably get a bit of food. Oh. I am surprised how good my legs actually feel and how not tired I am. But I do need to eat, otherwise that's gonna massively change really quickly. Right, off we go. I just realized that I've got an hour to get home because I've got a delivery coming between two and four and it's currently 10 past one. Yeah, I messed up this morning, so I did actually end my ride when I was like an hour in. So I've done 54.5K plus like the 20K that I did this morning. So 74K and I've managed to do it at a really chilled pace. And I feel like I've got a lot left in my legs, which is really reassuring because like, well, because at the time of filming this, I've got no idea how far you guys are going to say that I have to ride for this ultra distance test. So it'll be like 90, 95k, I think, for today in total, which isn't bad at all. And considering I've managed to like pace myself, I haven't ended up really fatigued. It's been really nice. It's actually been really nice. I'm not going to say it was easy. Do you know what I find really hard? The eating. I only came out of one water bottle, which is really stupid. I should have had two. Um, I was trying to save weight. So fueling is definitely, definitely something I need to work on. And I've got no excuse. I'm sponsored by Sturka. So 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be just a matter of getting a load of their products, having it like in my pockets or in a bar bag or something like that. And I don't think I'll do it on the road bike. I've got to say, this is a crit frame, steel and... Oh, it's been so comfortable. I'm quite surprised. I've burnt over 2,000 calories this morning, so that means I can eat whatever I want when I get home. And also, I've got no idea what's in the post when I get home. It could be a new bike, or it could be a set of wheels. I'm not actually sure yet. We shall see. Anyway, I'm going to continue riding. We'll have a bit of a chat in a minute. That is the thing I need to work on so much. I keep on saying it, but it's so important. Like, liquids and food. Like, it doesn't seem that hard. I need to find something I like and I can eat under any conditions. I think it's going to be Haribo and have a stash of those and then other food whether it be a jam sandwich or something or a sausage roll I mean pretty much anything as long as it gives me some energy and some carbs and whatever right anyway let's carry on or I'm going to be waffling we're going to miss this delivery what a lovely ride honestly oh I feel very very happy that I'm not completely blown apart I've managed to take it really chilled which is the first for me right onwards Right, back home, made it just in time. Got about 15 minutes until my delivery turns up. Decent morning on the bike there. Four hours, about, I think about 80K. I'm not sure, I didn't actually check, I just finished my ride. I think I was on 67K for this afternoon's ride, and then the one that I messed up this morning was like 20, so like, what's that, 87? I'll take that, it's nearly 90K. And the most important thing is, I paced it, I paced the whole thing. And I did learn a lot today. I learned that I can't eat. I'm rubbish at eating, which is really weird because I'm actually really good at eating. If I like the food, I'll eat an abundance of it. I'll eat probably too much of it. Um, but it turns out on the bike, oh my God, I really struggle. Like, does anyone else struggle with eating on the bike? Is it just me? Like, I need to find some way around this, you know? I'm just gonna have to test out loads of snacks. I mean, it doesn't sound bad, does it really? But honestly, I'm quite pleased that my legs didn't just give up. That was a very like, nice, chilled ride. I mean, I know I can do like 80, 90K at a much faster effort than I did today. But the point was I wanted something left in the tank. And most of the time after like an 80, 90K like hard ride, like I don't have a lot left, blown apart. And that's what I think I need to learn. I mean, not that, not that I'm doing an ultra distance event, but if I'm doing one long distance ride, like something really long, like a 200K, 200 miles or something like that, pacing is important. And it's no good doing the first 90K really fast and then blowing up. And I think today's ride is a good indication of that I'd be all right. I did realize that I'd asked you how far I should ride and I was gonna do that today, but I hadn't put the video out yet. You're gonna have to wait for that one. Thank you as always for tuning in. Um, sad news actually, this old Trifox might not get built. Marin might be sending me a Gestalt frame, which is their all round like road touring frame. And honestly, I'd much rather have a Marin built up than a uh, Trifox. So I might be building that up. If they have one in stock and if they're gonna send it to me. So if keep everything crossed, that'd be pretty rad. And I wanna paint it as well. Big plans for that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you as always for watching. Leave me your food tips down below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.